and uh, start. Thank you very much for uh, coming to our lecture tonight. I'm uh, more than happy that uh, Sejima is uh, lecturing at the Berlag uh, tonight in Rotterdam. Uh, she said to me, yeah, I did a lecture three years ago in Amsterdam and uh, all these people have seen my work, but I think to us, uh, there happened a lot since then. I remember that um, we once visited together your uh, Nakahachi Museum. We spent the whole day there. I think for me it was, um, after seeing some of your work in, in uh, Japan, the, the housing in Kifu and so on, it was extremely interesting to see that, uh, that museum since it was not really open. And we, uh, we spent a day with, uh, with the clients. And for me it was also the, the, really the very first time that I, I really understood um, you work in, I think, a um, very, let's say, um, subtle way of dealing with um, with the context, but also, let's say, the subtleness of dealing with the concept and also the way you execute it. I think it was, for me, it was an incredible, uh, important uh, moment, and I think uh, we talked about that work and about several of your other, other works. Um, what maybe you know is that uh, Besides uh, Kazuyo's work, she was uh, teaching in Japan, then she was teaching at uh, Harvard, uh, you were teaching at the ATH, and now you are a professor at the Keio University in Tokyo, which I think is, is important, and I think you, you think it's important for you as well to, uh, to be involved in the academic scene. Although you, I know that you're working seven days a week, I, I ask myself how you find still time to, to, to teach. Um, I don't give you a long introduction. I would like to say that um, most of your work is done since the last seven years together with uh, Nishisawa. And um, I just said also it's sometimes confusing because most of the work is done together. Some of the work is done separately, but uh, um, I think that's, that's uh, important to, uh, to mention it because you are doing the lecture tonight. And uh, the lecture is in English, so we are looking <laughs> forward to, to hearing you. I stop. It's hot, it's so please thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much <laughs> to introduce me. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm Kazuya Sejima, and um, I'm very honored to be invited here to have a lecture tonight. But at the same time, already, <laughs> we already said that I a little hesitated because the, um, three years ago, I had a lecture. And actually, yeah, last year, I have a very small lecture in Rotterdam also. So and uh, <laughs> so we are not so, uh, because of that, uh, to build. To build <laughs> takes a long time. And especially for me and uh, Nishizawa, the, these three years, the three years ago, we won the big competition the other the two projects at the same time. The big means for us. <laughs> so but for us the two projects is really big compared from the previous work. So the these last three years basically we worked on the worked on the uh, two projects. <laughs> and also my English is terrible so I prepared the text written by my staff, the imperfect English, but it's <laughs> little too perfect, so not fit to my lecture, so I try to use very easy Japanese English, and sometimes, <laughs> suddenly, I read the text. <laughs> so, so, and I'm thinking, so, the, tonight I show you the, what we are, it is better what we are doing now. So that means uh, not perfect materials, but we, I focus on the last three years. And then the beginning two projects I'll show you 
the two big projects. The one is the uh, Almera Star Theater project, and the uh, second is the uh, Kanazawa Contemporary Museum. It takes two projects, already takes three years, and now the, in the Star Theater project, we are finally almost the end of design development phase, and Kanazawa project, the, from this April, we started to construct. So the, that project, the museum, will be finished in two years, and, but the Stad Theater project, hopefully, at least, it takes three or four years, maybe. So first I show the, the, the project, but sometimes already we showed in this, in these three years, and then um, to show you some pro small project, is uh, one, uh, the three project, and then the last, the show you three project, the, that three project, we, the two designed by together, and one is by my alone, but last year we used for, uh, the, the last year basically we, <laughs> Uh, did <laughs> three pr small projects together with the two big project. So I want to start. <laughs> so the, this is a project for theater and cultural center in Almera. The, I think that everyone knows that the Almera is a very new city and now is master plan by, is now developing master plan by Lem Kulhas. And uh, three years ago that we won the competition and uh, uh, this, this two uh, photo of the model is a uh, we made three years ago. Next, please. The site is on the lake. The, so that, and uh, in, in the competition, we are required that this building should be connect the city and water closely to each other. And then the and this is the site plan, what we draw the competition period. And also the right drawings show the old programs. The, this drawing also we made uh, three years ago. And uh, in the program, the, we, are we were required the theater parts and also cultural center parts. So we, so that the, in this thea start theater, that there's the one big theater and small theater and one another more smaller performance uh, uh, place. And also there are so many small studio for, for painting or piano or the computer. And in this project the, uh, and in this competition, the, there are three things what we proposed. So the this drawing also made three years ago. And first one, the, we wanted to create a plan without hierarchy because of in this project, uh, we, we think that, of course, that this is a start theater, so the, the, the biggest and main function is the main big theater, theater auditorium. But uh, at the same time, the, for the people who come to this place for the lesson of piano lesson, the small piano sp uh, studio is a main space for her or she. So the, we so the, the we wanted we want to uh, try to make the uh, so we we try to 
treat the all public spaces as a equally. So the this drawing, the so the even if the small space uh, must should have their own character or own, own comfortability. So the uh, we think so that we try to connect each uh, the all public spaces on the same floor. And and also one more thing we uh, propose is uh, to make the uh, different circulation. That means we want to make the space as a, like a park. So the in the in the place the we try to make the different route. So that means the, the, the every space uh, rooms uh, will be made as a rectangular space, but uh, depend on the the route. Uh, there is few options to have a experience to move this space. So that depend on the route that uh, the, the people can get the different. Uh, experience is the second thing, and third thing is uh, the uh, we propose the, the uh, about the structure. So the I said already that even if the small space should have own identity or own character, character. So we try to uh, may use the very. Uh, small scale of uh, structure. That means that every space works as a whole structure. I mean, the normally the, in the very big building, the structure become very big. And small space will be made by the division wall. But in this building, the uh, whole part of the wall as a work as a as part of the whole structure. So, so to to do realize to realize that idea, that we uh, design with structural engineer Sasaki and uh, uh, made a, a very thin wall to work for the structure and the other wall made by normal opaque wall or the glass wall also same thickness. So that in this uh, in this floor, the all wall have a same thickness, and we hope that means that to avoid the hierarchy between the structure and the partition wall. Oh, and this is the 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 plan. Now we are working on, and this is. The entrance hall used for theater part and the, theater, the culture center part, and then from here, the the, the restaurant, so the co the restaurant sit the corner of the building, and and the, this side people enter the uh, foyer of the big auditorium, and now the big auditorium used from 60 people to 1,100 people. And uh, there are two entrances that to the uh, CKV, the cultural center part. And uh, so basically, the, we try to avoid making the uh, corridor. But of course, uh, we need the corridor. So the, we think about the proportion and to provide a different type of the uh, corridor that we call, not corridor, but hall here. So this is hall, and this is hall, it is hall, and this hall. So the, the hall used for the extra studio or the waiting space for hall programs, and then Sometimes people can enter from here and then go here and go, or the enter here and uh, go. Uh, mm. So <laughs> there is, of course, the 
dialect way, but if the, after the lesson, the people can enjoy working, w working in, the, in this field and sometimes can see the other activities. And this normally used for the small <laughs> auditorium, but uh, half of the week, the CKV part used this uh, small uh, auditorium. So there is the one another entrance and then Take takes uh, uh, the one more another uh, 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 circulation, and uh, <laughs> and uh, in in the plan there is few courtyards, so that courtyards provide a natural light and natural ventilation, even if the space sit in in the middle of the plan. So this green show the courtyard, and uh, this is a it is a hall, and uh, we are planning this space as an additional space for this painting sculpture studio, and this is a waiting or the center of the CKB space, and also this is a waiting space for the uh, the. Uh, music studio and this is corner also the use for some additional uh, some small event or the and uh, so our intention is a different type of the space connected each other and then people can enjoy different type of activities also the uh, the walking the the, through the different uh, spaces, and uh, uh, of course, from many directions, the people can enjoy the water. And this is the. It is the. Uh, it's not good quality, but it's a study model. This is the entrance hall, and then the. This is the entrance and. The, the entrance to, to the CKV and uh, actually here the water uh, uh, we can see the water and here the, the restaurant and above the restaurant also we can see the water from the um, entrance hall and this is the, the center of the CKV part the, the courtyard and through courtyard we can see the, some waiting extra studio and then and the painting studio, and then there the lake. The, the we can see the water. This the, this is the the, the courtyard, and then the extra studio. And the, from here, the people can enter the painting studio. And then the front, you can see the water. And this is the the part of the music studio, and the, some studio. Ah, between the studio, there is the one courtyard, and through courtyard, people can see the lake. This is the waiting space for the uh, studio, and the piano studio, and also this is a corner, so the, now we are planning the, some furniture to make a small lecture for, about the music or the small the concert space. And uh, the, this is the facade, and all the uh, exterior wall covered by the glass, and these three big uh, exterior, or the, the exterior wall face to the inside made by a steel plate. And, and the next project is uh, the Kanazawa Contemporary Museum. The Kanazawa is a historical city, like small Kyoto. So, and uh, this site is sit the center of Kanazawa city. So the, there is a city hall, and there is a state hall, and there is a one of the very famous the Japanese traditional garden. And here there is a shopping area for young people. 
So the, that means uh, from every direction, the uh, visitor come uh, to this museum. So we decided the shape as a circle, the round, and uh, made a few entrances. Normally in Japan, the big bu public building has a very big one entrance, but uh, we try to avoid making the back. So the, uh, there's the one entrance and next entrance and third entrance and this is four entrance and also additional two entrances here. And uh, hmm. so and uh, the next please. And this is the model and uh, basically the in this this building has two programs. One is contemporary museum and the other is a public uh, function. So the center there are exhibition rooms and the boundary there is the public function. For I mean public function is the children's space and the small library and uh, the hall and cafe and lecture hall and uh, office and uh, meeting the some meeting space and uh, the the museum uh, the, because this the, is also the competition and no other schemes uh, propose uh, two different volumes the, and to make one big plaza. So that means the museum and uh, other public fun functions. But we propose to combine two different functions. So we use a lot of time how to integrate or to combine the two different uh, activities. So the, the finally we decided the center, uh, there are the exhibition spaces where people must pay to enter this zone. And the surroundings is a public zone and is a free zone. And, uh, and also the, in Japan, the public museum, in the public museum, government always required the architect to make one or two simple boxes. And then using the movable wall and <coughs> to get uh, some kind of function, uh, the flexibilities. But our curator, Yuko Hasegawa, hate that system, and she required us uh, to make, uh, not to make one or two simple box, but to make a different uh, small spaces, and which uh, are, uh, have the exact proportion. So the, basically, the all uh, exhibition space uh, was decided by Yuko Hasegawa, and she asked us to how to how to arrange that the exhibition space. And so we proposed to her the, to connect the different type of spaces using by corridor. The, in this project, we focus on the corridor, and then. Mm, we propose this. We must uh, get some kind of uh, flexi think about the flexibility instead of using the uh, movable wall. So the, uh, we think the corridor works as a, some system. So that means that if for the one big exhibition, the curator uses whole exhibition space, that case the inside is completely com contemporary museum and uh, people cannot enter without paying. But if uh, she make the small three exhibition, suddenly the, this corridor open to the public, that means the pay zone to free zone, and this part also become, for example, free zone. And so our intention is that depend on the ex exhibition, uh, according, uh, the each exhibition makes the different uh, museum space and uh, change the some uh, free spaces so and also the mayor uh, 
uh, want to wants to get a very inviting museum, so we put four courtyard, all courtyard between sit between the free zone and pay zone. So the people who come to the come to library or the hall uh, very easily can see the inside inside the m museum and uh, can see what happening what happened in the museum. And uh, also we try to keep uh, ceiling uh, as low as possible. So try to keep some uh, uh, daily scale to in the for the big big uh, building. So the there are 3.8 meter ceiling high, and only the exhibition volume uh, stuck up from the low ceiling, and make uh, uh, exterior volume. And also, this is the landscape design. So the first uh, photo showed uh, the before this site used for the uh, kindergarten and uh, primary school and junior high school. So the, there are so many uh, Japanese traditional memorial trees. So we try to use uh, such a little strange <laughs> Japanese uh, memorial trees to combine this landscape. So basically, the, to decide to put the out the end of the view, the people can see the. Uh, uh, the memorial tree, which uh, which are there for long uh, time. Uh, so uh, first, I try to explain. I finish try to explain, and then after, please <laughs> question. The, if you don't understand what I mean, <laughs> and so so inside uh, this is the the part of the inside. So that there the this is the the free zone and inside the pay zone. But always the the through the courtyard, the people can see in the each other. And also the of course that these four courtyards uh, used for the exhibition space. And also the corridor is a. Uh, Works as a the exhibition space, and uh, this is the uh, lower part. And from the lower part, the exhibition space stick out. All exhibition space stick out, and all exhibition space the roof covered by the glass, and then all spaces can have a the natural light. But this also requirement from curator. So this is the it is a interior model, and this drawing show the we try to make the sight line from inside. So and the shape is round. So depend on the, your position. Sometimes you see outside very far away, but suddenly sometimes you see outside very close closely so the this drawing the if i stand some exact point and see 360 degrees can see the different uh, distance from the outside and the uh, uh, floor will be made by the concrete and uh, Ceiling now will be made by aluminum, the painted white, and wall made by the glass. But uh, now we are thinking ag again about the material of the wall. Of course, the inside the white wall for the exhibition, but uh, I mean the out of the exhibition space, wall for the exhibition space outside. Next. Please. 
and uh, the exterior wall made by the carved glass. So our intention is to reflect the all view, uh, all surroundings uh, continuously. And the uh, next three project is a finished project and uh, this project f finished in last three years. This is the most, uh, uh, this is the oldest project. The two and a half years ago it finished. The, this is a daycare center for elderly people. The meaning is used only in daytime, and the site is uh, in Yokohama. Yokohama is uh, near from the 30 minutes from Tokyo. It's a residential area, and uh, but this site on the uh, very steep slope, a uh, terraced slope, uh, uh, sloped area, sloped. So you can see the the it is a daycare center and front of this site, there is a road, but the level has a five meter distance, uh, difference. And behind, also there is five meter concrete wall. Concrete wall. And also you can see the shape of the site. Site is very thin and long. So that makes building very thin and long. And uh, this is a, this is a pro uh, the, it is a plan. And the basically, the half of the building is used for the elderly people, and half used for the young people who support the elderly people. In here, the uh, half of the elderly people is very uh, good, but uh, some elderly people needs some help to get the bath or the some people, uh, uh, because Japanese house is very small, so the, it's very difficult to have a communication in the private house or to, to someone to help elderly people to get the bus. So the Yokohama uh, city is making the, this build, building one building at uh, each area. And also they have a very strong uh, program uh, requirement. And also in the program, they already decided how to connect the each function each other. But uh, this site is too special so that uh, their, his, their manual doesn't fit. So uh, we, and what we propose is um, two or three things. One is the very thin, uh, ah, this space is for the basically elderly people. So the we think, we, I, we thought that it's not good to connect to each different function by corridor because of the, the city, this, uh, there are city, uh, make very clear programs. Space is for the eating, space for the changing the clothes, space for the bath. But uh, the, in this building, the elderly people uh, stay one day very slowly. So that means that sometimes the elderly people uh, have a rest, not here, but the changing room before or after taking a bath or to go to the toilet and normally the city's manual show the corridor and then the, the toilet. But uh, I try to um, move such a very, uh, not a, uh, strong division between um, different uh, and division and connect uh, another function using the corridor, but to connect each other and make a movable wall. So the, I mean the all activities continues very slowly. And also this is, this is a very thin and, and long building. So I try to avoid making 
uh, using structure on the edge. So that the, the instead of making column the both both side, I made I decided to uh, um, huh? the, uh, the <laughs> This uh, as a struck the uh, column. So this and this and this and this and this is work for the structure and also used for the some uh, installation space or, or uh, the storage. So sometimes this become bigger and then install the toilet or the, this is, this is the cleaning space and uh, sometimes the using for the a shoes box, and this also the structure, and this also structure, and this structure uh, sometimes divide one space too very softly because of the this is the space for the elderly people, but the they need some uh, more uh, space for uh, the two no, no to run through <laughs> from the kitchen to the bathroom. So that this space is for the, the young people who support the <laughs> elderly people. So this, uh, this, uh, this is a structure and uh, the beam balanced. So the rotation light balanced on these columns and uh, inside the, uh, the core used for the, this used for the toilet and this is uh, uh, some in uh, mechanical space or the storage. And also divided two and making uh, one space and the uh, other side there is a corridor the, that connect this space and the another space directly more uh, Directly, and after the both side covered by the glass because of the this is the south direction and in Japan we get the natural light from south but the south there are the five meter concrete wall so it's very difficult to get the natural light directly so uh, the this building sit middle of the thin side and try to get the natural light from both sides. So you, the, this is the north and this is the south and the, the five meter concrete wall and the five meter below the, the uh, below the, and the lower than this level there the the road and only the end of the site the road touch this site and the, every morning the bus coming from the road and through and use this space and arrive at the center of the building and others, the cent there is the entrance space, the center, and divided into two spaces. The one is elderly people and the other is a, a support, the people who use, the support and use that space. And this is the model. And the, because, because the there is a five meter distance uh, from the road. That means the, the in, f in front of this building, the, there is a normal uh, uh, private houses. And then from the second floor, people can see the inside. And of course, the elderly people doesn't want to be exposed too much. So uh, I must think about uh, uh, two things. We need a natural light, but at the same time to avoid being seen from the outside. So the, uh, we did the, um, speci uh, the, some special silk screen the, on the glass and the exterior side silk screen, uh, the black very thin line uh, printed, and inside the white very thin line printed, and. Uh, So that means from outside, uh, very 
you cannot see the line, but the, the black thin light uh, works, uh, makes glass, uh, makes uh, uh, gave glass uh, very strong. Different glass get a strong uh, deflection. キャラクターかな。そう、すごく黒くラインをしたから全然見えなくなったっていうのね。Let's <笑> That of course daytime you cannot see if you approach the uh, the glass, but almost you cannot see anything inside. Next, please. But from oh, <laughs> but uh, in the from the inside, the of course you can see outside, and also you can get the light. So this part. That there is a core, glass core, printed uh, white line. So I only did the black thin line. So you cannot, and, and then black thin line, basically you cannot see from the inside. And uh, this part, the exterior uh, part, there is black thin line, and inside uh, the white thin line, and then the works for other, some. Uh, uh, Japanese kind of Japanese old screen. And uh, uh, this building used only daytime, but at night, <laughs> of course, if there, there uh, if we can see from the outside. <laughs> And then, uh, and uh, this uh, small house uh, finished uh, almost uh, two years ago, and uh, it's a really center of Tokyo. And uh, in this project, we I tried. Uh, this is my own project that I tried to find out what uh, could be gained from the small size itself. And this is the structure. It is a structure, and uh, in, if we think about the very small scale, a small size, and I saw the in the very small pro scale project, the one centimeter or the two centimeter have a very big impact on the whole uh, project. And here, the, it's a very small size, so the, we think about, we thought uh, the minimum size of the each function. And we stuck the another function um, on top of it. And uh, we also decide the position from the interior function and also the relation or the how to cross to the next to building or the relation to the exterior. So the, this line was decided by the car section. The client, even if the very small site, but client want to stop, uh, keep, want to get the parking uh, space. So there the, uh, the car coming. And also behind the car, the, this, in this, on this floor, the, this line almost touched the line of the door, line of the border, but the gradually set back. And then in the basement, the, the master bedroom, so the one meter distance from the border and the, 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 this family can get the small, small coat to get the natural ventilation. And the top there is the bathroom and small uh, terrace. 
And the structure, the, the staircase works for the uh, one column and uh, uh, and 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 floor made by was made by concrete, <coughs> the cantilever from the this core and uh, next please. So this the this drawing is uh, not correct, but the car is like this, and then the the master bedroom and uh, the guest room and uh, dining kitchen and uh, bathroom and terrace. Next. And the uh, exterior form follow the, uh, the, uh, the floor line and make uh, such a Forum and finished by the galma galvanized galvanized steel plate and also and also glass and this is a steel mesh. Next plate. Next plate. Uh, the interior is a very small, but uh, so it's very difficult to get the photo. <laughs> so, but uh, the center <laughs> there is a corridor, a uh, staircase, and the, the, in this floor, the behind the staircase there is only corridor. So, but uh, this floor behind the staircase there is a kitchen space. So the the in the small uh, scale. Uh, makes uh, completely different uh, and makes uh, 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 some things possible ah uh, nanda small in this in such a small scale project the few centimeter uh, makes uh, uh, difference between spaces next please next please always taken from the staircase, <laughs> the photo. And the top floor, the bathroom, and there the toilet, and the small counter, and washing space, and also the, the coat there. Next, please. And uh, this project, just finished uh, two or three weeks ago, and and uh, the site is four hours, about four hours from Tokyo, and this building is a uh, the branch of uh, one of the biggest newspapers company, and you can see the surroundings. It's a very, it's a typical, I think the. Uh, uh, View the in the local the city in the local area, and uh, so the many different functions, housing or the small shop or the small office, uh, 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 standing next to each other. So the what we I think this is also my own project, and what. Uh, I thought is uh, to get some feeling, the such a very random, not unclear feeling, to connect to such a feeling, but at the same time, the, I want to have some kind of independent feeling from the from uh, surrounding. So the, I keep four meter setback at, for front there the road, but the three. Uh, three direction, three sides. The, we I have four meter setback from the border, and then make one very simple uh, boxes, and ground floor used for the parking, and the first floor used for the normal uh, office space, and third is additional meeting space, 
and also small uh, uh, company related to the, uh, the news company's office. And uh, in this building, the client required uh, one big uh, simple space because the, in the newspaper's uh, company, the, normally here, the 10 people uh, are working. But if the, some accident happen, the, suddenly the 50 people must work uh, in this space. So client required us uh, don't uh, make uh, don't make the column inside. So the here the only the the surrounding there are columns. And uh, in Japan we have an earthquake, so the, there is two options. One is the uh, column became thick, or uh, use the bracing. But uh, uh, here uh, we don't want to make use the big column and also we don't want to uh, use bracing so the we made uh, the very thin uh, structure uh, the steel panel work for the uh, structure so the whole exterior wall made the, the about 30 millimeter thickness steel panel work for the brace and uh, uh, the place and uh, in the site the we all steel uh, panel weld on the site and polished on the site next uh, so it is a um, so the there is no line the all uh, steel structure panel uh, weld on the site and polished and the paint, finished painting, special painting, the that painting, no, like that means heat insulation painting. <laughs> Next, please. Next, please. And also the the very thing. Uh, uh, no, the wind, uh, the, without frame, so the, uh, we cut the some parts. We cut the steel panel and make the same thickness of the uh, window without frame. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. And uh, so last year we do three, uh, developed the three new, not so big project, small project. And this is the Christian Dior main store in Tokyo. And uh, already we finished the drawing phase. So the, from July, the construction will start. And in one year, the, the, it, the it will finish. And uh, so the 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 site is uh, uh, really center of Tokyo, the fa ma mo most famous fashion street, face to the fashion street, and the site is not so big. And the client, uh, there are the three um, things, uh, three frames. The frames mean the some condition that we must think about. One is the the Christian Dior has a the different interior designer. So that means that we do only the we make the architecture and after uh, finishing the building, the interior designer join this project. And second thing is a. Uh, uh, the president of the DO required us to make carnage pattern on the uh, exterior wall. Carnage pattern is uh, some basic pattern of the Christian Dior's uh, cross. And the third thing in this site, there are a strange uh, relation between maximum floor area and maximum uh, height. In the, from the regulation point of view. So the maximum floor area 
is five five hundred percent of the site area, but the height is we allowed we allowed um, thirty one meter. So that means the uh, so we want to maximize both things. So we make we must make basement. So that means the, on the ground there is only four floors, but it looks seven or eight floors. So because of the we want to use a maximum height, and also the uh, uh, already I said after uh, the finish finishing the interior design uh, designer join. So the client required us to keep distance between uh, the ground floor uh, between space the the ceiling and floor. It should be at least 1.5 meters. So we decided to make this space bigger. Sometimes the 3.5 meter is uh, between space, and then uh, make big build, uh, make the big building. So it looks uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight floors. <laughs> but uh, normally the 30, the four stories building uh, needs half of the volume. So the and also the cover the whole exterior wall by the completely extra extra transparent glass without any marion. Uh, so the glass thickness is 45 centimeter, uh, 4.5 centimeter, and uh, also behind the glass there is uh, we make acrylic uh, screen, and acrylic screen has a collage pattern. So I hope we hope the acrylic screen appears like a kind of a part of the interior design or the uh, ex the part of the exterior design. And uh, so that means that we want to we don't want to make clear division between interior design and exterior design. But uh, we don't know what happened later. So we try to make some. Uh, possibility of relations. So the uh, so if the interior designer joined the later phase, still the half of the volume uh, remain. Say the this 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 filled with the interior design, but the other volume remain as it is, and also the the uh, acrylic screen looks uh, now homogeneous. But if interior designer make the white wall behind the acrylic uh, wall, that means the white pattern will disappear. And if the black uh, wall uh, come, and then this part of the canage uh, pattern appear very strongly, so that means the interior design influence some uh, uh, different feeling on the uh, exterior expression. <laughs> so this is a shop, and this is a between space and shop, bet shop, shop and between space and shop and between space and roof. So the every space have uh, the between space used for the mechanical space and uh, different height of the this floor. This is ceiling floor. Ceiling floor. It's like next, please. Next, please. And uh, this is uh, my own small house project in also Tokyo, but a little suburb area, and, uh, not so center. And uh, in the site, there is a uh, uh, now there are plum trees, so we want to keep the plum trees as much as possible. So try to reduce the floor uh, area, uh, floor building area, and uh, and also the in this house, the young parents and two children and uh, grandmother live together. So the and in the small house. Uh, Normally in the in Japan the small private house the number of, relation of the number between the habitant and the rooms are decided, but 
uh, in small house, it, it's impossible to try to make the big comfortable living space. So instead of making one, but it's impossible, the one big space, we propose uh, to make the so many different small spaces. So the, there are the basically a normal house the, for one couple and two children and grandmother need four bedroom, but here we make, we'll make, we'll make the five bedrooms and instead of one living dining space, we try to make the four very small uh, kind of uh, living spaces. And uh, so every space scale also almost uh, the scale of the furniture. So we, we so the, if the, we make the normal thickness of the, we use the normal thickness of the wall, it uh, is very depress the space so the we here that we use a 12 millimeter steel plate so every wall is very thin and uh, openings the window openings without win the glass and the door openings without doors so basically the three stories are one room and every space have the uh, different type of opening and both side of the steel, thin steel plate uh, finished by the different uh, wallpaper. So the, for the daughter space will be the steel plate covered by the flower uh, print uh, wallpaper but uh, this space is a different or something like that. And we hope that the, uh, be, be, because of the opening is uh, the wall is very thin so that uh, relation between two spaces become uh, change. Uh, so I mean, the, the looks appear some uh, paintings. The, we did al already once in the Prada shop in Hong Kong, and uh, we made a, a 12 millimeter wall between the original Prada shop and our cosmetics shop. And then that appear al almost the paintings. So that we, so I try to uh, develop here. <laughs> Next, please. This is the second floor, and this is the third floor. The Next, please. Next, please. This is a study model. So the client has a bookshelf made the uh, wooden bookshelf. So the this space. Uh, uh, cover, finished by the wooden print paper or laminate the decorative <laughs> laminate <laughs> very thin film. <laughs> Next, please. Next, please. Almost the space <laughs> just come from the furniture. <laughs> And this is the last project. The, the, this, the, uh, we are now at the end of schematic design phase. And the site is in Ohio, near uh, Detroit. The, this is the main museum, the Toledo Museum. Oh, oh, Toledo Design, Toledo Museum of Art. Toledo Museum of Art. And uh, this is so. And uh, 12 years or the, about 12 years ago, they had uh, one first extension by Frank Gehry as an institution. And they, now they try to make the, the next second extension. And uh, this is uh, our project. And uh, the, the museum want to uh, building focus on the glass collection. And uh, this is, is a site. And, and uh, you can see the old beautiful trees. So the, the site has a, a very beautiful tree. So we want to keep all old trees. So we decided one story building and like a pavilion under the trees. Next please. This is the plan. And so the, uh, this is the ups, not the jewel upside down so this is the here the main museum so the, 
So in this project, client required us uh, to uh, to make the different to show the different aspect aspect of the glasses, and basically in there are the three spaces. One is the glass making facilities, and next is the exhibition space temporary, and also the collection, and other and is a multifunction space. And the uh, client want to show the different uh, functions, and also client required us to make the visual connection between the different functions. So through the discussion with client, the almost the position of the function uh, was decided. For example, the glass making facility is a very interesting function, so client want to show the front. But at the same time, want to show the inside and have uh, the people can see the, uh, this function from the exhibition space. Or the restaurant, from the restaurant, people must see the, this function. Or the, uh, such a thing, uh, many relations client, the, we client uh, wanted. So the, the, through discussion, we decided the, the, some uh, positioning of the function, and uh, we used the cur curved glass to make the one space. One space. Uh, so one function uh, make one function um, um, covered by the curved glass and make one space. And so there are the two entrances so from the parking. People approach from here, and also from main museum, people come from this direction. And so the two entrances connect one foyer, and people also uh, that this space uh, invite people to go to the exhibition space. And also inside there are the few courtyard. Next, ah, and courtyard <laughs> And uh, so, and to keep the visual connection, the many spaces made by the glass, and some space made by the same steel, the which is same thickness of glass. And between space, the normally inside the wall, the uh, is uh, invisible. But here we can we try to show, and we use this space as an installation. Done it. Insulation or the heat, the air conditioning space, and also this space works for uh, sound insulation, heat insulation, and sound insulation. Next, and so the the, the from the client requirement requirement we. Uh, uh, we uh, must make a, a very strange shape. So, the, so here we want to make the different shape, all uh, different type of shapes. So this is a part of the studies and to think about the proportion. Or next, one. this is the last drawings. So the 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 wall made by two uh, glasses. Sometimes glass and glass and sometimes glass and steel, and uh, each uh, space have some movement, but at the same time there are different to uh, see visual connection. So if the entrance, he, you approach to here and the visual connect, you can see the other part of the uh, park, but uh, this curve invite you to the another places. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Although I, it's hot, I would like to ask you maybe whether this question. I noticed that uh, all your buildings are white, and uh, in the, and also that uh, you, your plans are very open uh, in the 
very many cases. As well, you use or you play a lot with uh, servant and serviced uh, spaces. Uh, I would like to know how much this is a reference to uh, early modernism and how much this reference is uh, valid to you or relevant today. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we don't uh, refer <laughs> uh, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> the white white issue about the white issue the. Yes, we use white a lot, but uh, today the, I show so many models, so model made by white paper. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but now I try to <laughs> use the different materials or the, uh, basically the, and also museum, the, we require to use white because of the, the um, but uh, it's a, uh, we are, Thinking the try to use more materials, and uh, but uh, the circulation or the is a most uh, interesting thing for me to make the some different type of relation or to find some another relation the between the different things. So that sometimes. Uh, Corridor or the without corridor or the uh, the exterior wall or the some space between interior space and exterior space, uh, we are uh, thinking. Uh, so I don't. Uh, sorry that I <laughs> I may don't I may not I don't understand your uh, exact question. <laughs> No, I mean it's, it's because there's a lot of very direct reference. I would, I would see at least. I mean, maybe you don't refer it, but as you know, like belonging to like a, a certain discipline, you, you see a, a very strong tradition. I would say uh, approach to a function to a um, uh, you know, traditional uh, way. Yeah, and this is some sort of like modernist tradition in, in your work, it's with a twist. But there is some some sort of link, and I, I was wondering how much uh, this is important for you, or how much is it just. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I in a tradition. The, you mean the traditional, but not Japanese traditional, but uh, more than the. Mm. Of course, I learn and I study, <laughs> but uh, I don't have so exact reference from the. Uh, I. You mean <laughs> uh, basically I don't against the modern way, uh, but uh, uh, but exactly uh, I don't uh, difference <laughs> from some <laughs> things. <laughs> I think it's clear. For me, it's So maybe there's another question? You know, I, I was wondering when you presented the first two pro projects, you know, the one in Almere in Holland and one in Japan. Um, when you see the two projects, you know, next presented next to each other, you know, one uh, square, volumes, with a flat building, and then the other round. You could say there are some similarities in the project. My question is, one is built in or will be, will be built in Europe, in Holland, the other in Japan. I think it's quite interesting that looks like it's not important whether one is in 
Holland and the other in Japan. So how do you how do you deal with let's call it uh, the context of Japan or Europe? Yes, listen to it. Yeah, but uh, uh, I cannot say well. But uh, the context, I think, the half of the context, uh, the context, context, uh, we can find many things. I think the context is not static one. So, but. Uh, Half of the some uh, context, the, I think the, all the world, but the, we the, we can um, understand. Uh, so, I mean, the, we can have same value how to think or the how. The half of the context, of course, each area, uh, I think have its own context. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the reason why I asked the question also a little bit because Charles is referring to, let's say, modern movement in terms of uh, white uh, tin facades, etc. I think that's your, your question. You know, you can say not modern movement, but also talking about you can build all over the world, let's call it in one style, international style. So what I think is interesting, I think you are, for me, the only architect who really whether you build in Japan or in Europe or in the States, you know, you are dealing with your very, very severe language, which I think is, is, is very interesting. So in that sense, I think it's, it's a kind of relationship, the, the, the questions have a relationship. So I think you, you, you feel free from building in Japan or in Europe or the States. Is that... No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so half, I think, the, 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 not all the world, but uh, uh, people living the, to get the same information can mm, think, uh, think the same thing, or they can at least communicate. And uh, half, I think, the different. And so the, in the whole case, also we'll uh, have a different many experience from Japan. <laughs> so I think the, the if the realized, of course, the details or the thickness or the many things uh, is uh, different from Japanese uh, uh, building, what you, are vis you have visited. The, the, mm. So, but I think some, uh, I, uh, but I don't know, but uh, uh, relation to, uh, I basically, every project I want to think about the relation, and that means that every space, uh, how to get the kind of privacy, privacy means the own character or the own, just uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but some the different uh, <laughs> so some parts we are very we learn from the each different. Uh, Way. So the, now I, I only show the model, but if the finished, I think maybe the, some difference appear. I hope. <laughs> Someone has another question. I, I see a difference between uh, uh, the movement, the free plan, and, and your work in the terms of structure. You want to make structure more or less disappear or make it very thin or no here like in the first museum. Can you uh, talk about uh, that? Ah, yes, the, ah, yes the, the structure is also very important and then now the so I want to avoid the, some hierarchy the, I think in the modern the, uh, the building the, some I don't <laughs> learn so precisely but I think the first the some clear structure coming was and then 
the facade and the division wall, there are very clear hierarchy. But I want to avoid such a uh, way. And also, the, uh, now I'm interested in the very thin wall that is uh, not stylish or the some style, but uh, I think there are completely different relation appear the, if you use the, this type of the wall or the, this type of the wall. And so it's my intention. So the, and so also the, to make the corridor or the, to avoid the corridor is also very important for me is a, to make the different the relation between each functions or the each spaces. So I think we uh, would like to thank you. We raise the curtain and have a chance to talk with you and drink a beer. <laughs> and we hope, I, I, at least I hope, and I, I think all of us hope that Japan will win the World Cup. <laughs> which is us tomorrow. Since Holland is not in anymore. So we all look and support Japan. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.